tonight is the sixth time I've actually attended Villa Park as a Newcastle United fan. The previous five times I've been here, I've left disappointed every single time. Last season, Newcastle came here with an unbelievable unbeaten record. We got pummeled and smashed. It's something I haven't seen that often ever since the takeover has actually happened. But Villa played us off the park for 90 minutes. We never, ever looked like getting into the game. Now, this season's a bit different. Villa are currently chasing for a top four. Both teams have got massive FFP constraints and it's, uh, it's, it's killing both teams at the minute. We're going into this game off the back of picking up a good win down at Fulham in the FA Cup. But we didn't actually play that well, to be honest. I thought Fulham were quite poor. So tonight against Villa, we have to be much better if we're going to get anything down here. I'm always a confident person, but I've got no expectations now. I'm not expecting us to draw or win the game. I'm just expecting 100% Let's get in there, let's make the most out of it and let's just hopefully grind out a result. But anyway guys, if you enjoy the content, make sure to get down there, hit that subscribe button. Of course, we're going to every single away match this season. Blackburn Robots in the next round of the FA Cup. I'm happy with that draw actually. And speaking of away games, look at Villa Park behind me. Wow, we as Newcastle fans have been treated quite a lot. Crane Cottage and Villa Park in the last three days. I love this stadium. I think if I was an opposition player coming here, it's so imposing. I'll be terrified. It's the actual structure of the ground. It just looks like a daunting place. There's so much history and culture behind it. I do like it a lot. I've got to give Villa Park credit. One of the nicest stadiums, I think, in the Premier League. But enough arse kissing by me. Let's get into things. What to, What's going to happen in this game? Fabian Shaw. Get in there. Two. 
Genius to see it, it's offside over there. Yeah! You know, I thought I'd be telling the Jimmy Genius, but there we are. Alright, well, there's a massive wake up call now. Come on. Yes! Go on.
Just got back inside the hotel now over here in Birmingham. This cost me four bloody quid. Pretty much all the shops are closed nearby, so I've got to get something inside the hotel. Straight away, that's about the best I'm going to get here. But we are going to be feasting well tonight because the castle have smashed Aston Villa. I, I, I couldn't believe it. We've ended Aston Villa's almost one year home record, they haven't lost at Villa Park at all, Newcastle went there, I would put it on the park for them, by far the much better team and honestly, Eddie Howe's best away performance in the Premier League without a doubt this season and probably his best away performance in the Premier League since he's came in I'm, I'm, just, I'm trying to think of any other ones, obviously the Tottenham one was quite big last season but even then they still finished 7th other than that I, 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 I'm confident enough to say that I think Aston Villa probably is Eddie Howe's very best in regards to the away games in the Premier League and I've got to give the players full credit and they like, were brilliant um, they were also good I thought a few special mentions of course Bruno the amount of fouls he was drawn as always he just plays like Bruno he's so good uh, Dan Burns always someone that people question well actually why is Liverpool meant not to start ahead of him I thought Dan Burns was class tonight the amount of good hard hitting tackles he was getting was great Obviously, you like to see Anthony Gore and a lot of attention to go Fabian Shaw for his two goals. But I thought collectively as a squad, we were brilliant. Everyone played a part and we deserved to win the game, which is exceptional considering Villa as a team that is chasing top four football. Newcastle are just a little bit behind at the minute. But despite our horrendous away form this season, that win puts us seventh. How? <laughs> How are we seventh? Uh, it just feels like such a poor season for us. So the fact that we're in seventh, all of a sudden we're back in European football again. It's this is still a lot of play with you. Newcastle have got an excellent FA Cup draw at Blackburn. Should be getting past them. As for league matches, we are now in the next nine games. We are only playing two teams in the top six, which means that seven of those nine games are going to be against teams that are worse than those statistically on paper. So it's up for us to get a good amount of points there. That huge haul of points is going to be what dictates our season we got a good chunk there we're probably looking at european football if we don't then we miss out so we'll see how the next nine games go but I, those nine are going to be extremely important for how the season ends um looking forward to seeing how things go but as for tonight play that guy every single game got no issues whatsoever i thought it was excellent superb you want to listen to me talk more in detail about the game make sure you go and listen to my match reaction yesterday but he's heard it in the intro. I couldn't believe that. I wasn't expecting that. So I say it one final time. Full time tonight in Birmingham. Aston Villa 1. You can see United 3. And 3 points are going back to St James's.